This is a home USB endoscope, or I guess if you were using it to look at the pistons on a car, you'd call it a bore scope. Um, I got this on eBay. It was under $20 delivered, and that is including shipping. It comes in a little tin box, and basically you're looking at a camera with some LED lights in it on a long cable, and you can get different lengths of cable with the USB connector that connects to your computer and a little um, adjuster to turn the brightness of the light up and down depending on how dark it is where you're going. So you can use this to look at the pistons of your car or I guess if you're if you're weird you can look use it to look for the corn you had for dinner last night. Um, it's basically just a camera that's a centimeter wide that you can shove in any small place that you want to look into that you can't get your eyeball into. Uh, it comes in this handsome 10 collectors case with some weird Chinese software. Now, I don't want to put any weird Chinese software on my computer, so I'm going to show you how to run it with software that's free from Windows rather than, you know, risking Chinese spyware and key loggers or whatever else is on here. Also, everything's in Chinese on this disc, so there's little icons and then everything's written in Chinese. So, don't even want to attempt to put that on my computer. All right, so Microsoft makes a suite of programs called Windows Live Essentials. And uh, amongst those is Windows Live Movie Maker. So that's what I've got here. You can download it for free from Microsoft. Uh, this is, we're looking at it on Windows 7. Now I plug the, the camera into the computer and it recognizes it. And then uh, you can see the camera has little lights in it. And if I use the adjuster here, it's got a little wheel on it and I can make the lights brighter or dimmer with that little light, or with that little switch. So on the Windows Movie Maker, Windows Live Movie Maker, there's a webcam video button and you just click that and then it can be used. Let me make this wider a little bit. It can be used to feed video from the webcam and then um, if I turn the light down, turn the light up, I can adjust the lighting. You can see so I'm looking at the keyboard of the computer. So I didn't really buy it to do things uh, like this where you can see what you're doing so I'm going to go out into the garage and take a look at the piston on one of my motorcycles because it's it's one of those where it gets uh, caked with soot and crud and has to be taken apart and cleaned every once in a while but it's kind of nice not to have to take it apart and say oh wow it was pretty clean but rather to just peek in the spark plug hole and see how dirty it's gotten also look for cracks and holes and pistons and things like that it's a great uh, tool so let's see how it works I should also mention that with this program you can see here there's a record button so you are able to record on here. So if you just click record, you can record whatever it is that you're shooting and then you can play it back later. So I will record what my piston looks like and play it back for you. All right, so you've got your computer, you got your motorcycle, and you've got your scope. Let me just feed it into the cylinder. Now, of course, you're gonna wanna make sure that your cylinder is at the bottom of the stroke. So we're going, you know, that it's not a top dead center, but rather at bottom. Um, what I've found is that this bore scope uh, is not quite enough of a wide angle lens to give you a view of the whole piston, which is a problem. But I will uh, make a recording here, and you can see what you can see, and you can decide if this would be a worthwhile thing for you to buy. What is that? And you can see what you can see, and you can decide if this would be a worthwhile thing for you to buy. What's that? That's disturbing. Is that a broken piston ring? Huh. Well, I guess you can watch the video and be the judge of it. See some carbonization on here. See this weird formation on top here. That's kind of pointy. And 
that's the surface of the cylinder. We can adjust the lighting while we're in there. You can see the, the milling marks on the top of the piston. Interesting. Don't like that, whatever that is. But I don't get a view of the entire top of the piston. So, if you're looking for rats in your walls, it's a little more use than if you're going into a motorcycle. All right, here's your other option. I've got this one that's a um, ProVision 100, and it's basically just a big long tube with fiber optics in it, and then a flashlight in it, and you know, batteries on this end, and an eyepiece. So you look through the eyepiece. Turn the light on. Look through the eyepiece. And it's got a nice wide angle lens on it so you go inside of the piston or the cylinder and you can really get a good look at the piston. I tried uh, putting the camera on this to show you how it worked but it just didn't look at all good. At least not as good as it does to the naked eye. So this is the one that I would actually use if I were in a hurry. I got this one for 40 bucks on eBay. But then I thought, I wonder if that USB one is better, and it would be really cool to have a camera hooked up. But uh, it turns out that the the angle isn't quite wide enough on that one. Maybe you'd, if you're going to go look for one, you'd want to find one with a wide angle lens on the end of it.